Hello, hello, um, it's me, Ardeen, and I wanted to just come here and do a quick video update on, um, like an update on where I am right now. Today is, let me check the date, which is nowhere anywhere that I can see. Uh, today is the, so 31st, May 31st, so I'm like 32 weeks post today, which is crazy. Um... I'm feeling really good. Um, I think I'm healing very good. I did have a little thing happening um, that I'm gonna just check and monitor, but otherwise I think I'm healing pretty good. Um, yeah, and so at this point now, um, I've had so far two appointments with the radiation oncologist and the radiation, no, and the the medical oncologist for radiation, and then the medical oncologist for chemotherapy and um, endocrine therapy. So I've had those two appointments. I'm going to have follow-up appointments, follow-up appointments um, with them as well. Um, so if you didn't know, um, I got the final pathology back. Um, from my my lumpectomy so when they did the lumpectomy they sent off the tumor to um, test it and so I got the final pathology from that and in that um, my lymph nodes are clear so that's a good thing my lymph nodes are clear and um, they took out four lymph nodes and they tested them and they were clear so that is a good thing um, what they took out was they took out two tumors, two foci, um, the larger one being 21 millimeters, which is really still small, 21 millimeters, which is two centimeters. And then the other one was smaller. Um, and But that was surrounded by a precancerous mass, which was about 50 millimeters. So what they do then in the surgery is they take out um, the precancer mass which is surrounding the two tumors and then they take a margin around the precancer so they leave a margin of what they think is the good cells um, and when they take it send it to pathology they check to see if the margins are clear um, so when my pathology report came back my and I can show you a picture that I drew my margins were all clear um, except one was a little bit close um, but still clear. So they look for a margin of two millimeters. Um, and I think most of them were good. One was one and a half millimeters and they, they're okay with that one. And then one margin, my medial margin was 0.2 millimeters. So the doctor was saying that that is still a clear margin. Some places they don't you know, as long as it's clear, it's clear. Microscopically, it's clear. Um, so I'm not concerned with that margin, um, coupled with the fact that my lymph nodes are clear. Um, so they gave me three options at that time to consider. One would be to do a re-excision, which is another lumpectomy, go back in, take out more, and then test and everything again. But the issue with that is, even though they've gone in, they've marked where they are, they know where they're going back, things have still been moved around. So, you know, it'll probably come back clear anyway, so probably not as much benefit doing that, from my understanding. Or I could do a mastectomy now, or um, just leave it as is, and then move to radiation and let radiation do its job, which is to kill anything that is left locally. So this is my handy dandy. The, the surgical oncologist did draw, draw me a um, picture and I just enhanced it for my understanding. So for me, it was, um, there was, the center is the cancer and there, I actually had two. And then the orange is the precancer. And the issue with precancer is it could evolve to cancer. And then what they actually did is they cut out a section all the way up to the blue line. So they cut out including good tissue in hopes that they leave a nice clear margin. There's no precancer and no cancer left. When they came back with the pathology report, one of the borders 
hair, it was really small at the point two. Um, so of course when they're, um, so it's a margin, but it's a little bit close. And you know, what they were saying is that, oh, I lost my train of thought. Lost my train of thought. Yeah, so when the radiologist um, gives a report, they tell them what they think. The surgeon takes out more than what the radiologist said to have a border. But again, you never know. So, so right now I'm just waiting for, um, I got, they do one test, my HER2. That came back and that's negative, yay. So now, and that means that the cancer is less aggressive, um, not likely to spread. And so now they're going to do the testing, um, wait for the results for the Oncotype DX test, which then tells you whether or not the tumor would be responsive to chemotherapy treatment. On top of that, they would also, because my the tumor came back, as ER PR positive, estrogen, estrogen progesterone positive. They also then recommend um, hormone endocrine, 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 ah, can't talk. Endocrine therapy, which is hormone therapy, which is basically blocking the hormones that are produced, female hormone, hormones that are produced, um, because then that would help with no recurrence. That I have some issues with because it does mean that it would be blocking my production of hormones, which would then put me into menopause. So I'm not sure about that. Um, but you know, right now I'm waiting to see um, the Oncotype results and then I'm just sort of trying to weigh the odds and see where I go from there. So I just thought I'd do a little video update. I'll probably do a couple more updates um, in terms of um, my actual diagnosis and then the actual surgery date. I figure um, since I've been doing looking online and looking for information that it might be helpful to put my voice out there so people could see um, different perspective because I, I realize everybody's everybody has a different story and things work a little you know the process is, is a little different same but different but I think it's a good idea to you know, see as much um, and see what your options are see what other people did how they made their choices um, and I think, you know, it'd be good just to add that out there. So, and hopefully it helps somebody. Um, also what I'm doing is, um, I'm going to move to attempt to do a keto vegan alkaline diet. Keto vegan, but you know what? I think looking at keto and alkaline diets, they look like they are sort of synonymous. Um, so I'm going to be looking to do a keto vegan diet. It's going to be super hard. Um, but you know, everything for health and well-being. Um, so yeah, so I will update you guys and I'll stop waving my hand around <laughs> and don't look at the mess behind me cause it's such a mess back there. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. I can't do the closey thing.